this is Josh Olmsted. Welcome to Northwest Disc Golf's coverage of the second annual El Guapo Open. This is a B-tier event out of Yakima, Washington. I'm glad you could join us for some great disc golf action. On the card this afternoon, we have Matt Zladich, Cameron Sheehan, Joey Brumley, Robbie Dreho, and Nick Schuler. All five of these guys are local Washington pros. I actually spoke with Matt before the round, said these guys are all friends, they all know each other. Should be a really fun afternoon of disc golf. As you can see, just a few strokes separate the top card, uh, so we should have some really exciting disc golf down the finish. Cam, I'm playing with you all weekend? Yeah, all three rounds? Yeah. All three rounds, buddy. So up on the first hole, 375 foot par three. This is a really cool hole. You'll see a lot of these holes are really technical. There's a Mando on the left corner um, with a road that's both long and left down that whole parking lot. So they have to kind of play a, an approach shot out to the landing zone and then it's about a 100 foot up shot to the basket. I think someone could get there with a really adventurous roller. Most of these guys are going to just be happy to get a three here. Wait, I didn't see any birdies all weekend. Nick going for the big hyzer line. But there's a lot of a lot of garbage up high. Get in trouble. Come on, baby, hyzer in. Let's go. Brumley playing a little bit of an air bounce. Looks like he's got a little bit of an ultimate background. He actually will have a putt up there. Robbie coming up a little short. Cameron with the big floater putt. It's scary to run this because you've got the road right behind. You can see the camera set up there in the parking lot. Matt from about 60. And Joey, Come on. giving it a run. Good run, Joey. Looks like these guys will all take pars except for Matt, the OB stroke. Yeah. Oh! Nice save. Robbie with the huge par save. See that on replay. Great way to start the round. Don't want to lose a stroke to this card. There's not that many strokes to give up. Matt clears out his par. Cameron will do the same. Joey had that chance at a sweet birdie. So Matt gives up his one stroke lead. It's gonna be a two way tie for first going into the second hole. Hole two is 555 feet. This is my favorite hole out on this course. It's really really tough drive. You've got these trees that can knock you down oh, into the through. road oh, and if you're yeah. in the road you've got to go all the way back and re-tee. Saw a couple guys in round two suffer that fate. What I like about this shot though is a lot of different okay. options for these guys. You can take a backhand, you can take a forehand. Matt's been throwing tomahawks. Nick needs, uh, Nick needs that to do some work. Looks like he's going to stay out in the road. Tough way to start on this hole. There's no drop zone out there, so if you don't, if you don't clear hey, some land, you're going all the way back to the tee. Joey puts it out there well. Here's Matt with that awesome thumber yeah, nice. shot. Nice shot. Manages to just skip it over. For the second shot, you've got this little bit of a fence in your way. Can't really see it from here, but it's tucked way back in the corner. It's definitely, it's definitely a, a hole these guys can birdie, and you know they're wanting to get three here. Oh, oh, that's a great shot from Matt. Should be a drop in from there. Cameron, shrouded in the sun. Definitely looked like it helped there, taking the lefty line. Robbie with his birdie putt, just short. 
Loving the Mariners hat though. Matt cans his birdie. Great way to tackle a big hole. I know I'd be happy just to get a four on this. Oh no. Joey's not happy to miss that short one. Maybe he was thinking about hole three already. So Matt and Cameron pushing their lead out to three strokes. Getting a hot start early on this course. Talk to the tournament director. This is a really cool course. It's, it's all temporary. Um, they're working on getting a permanent course. They did a lot of work with the park rangers, making sure that they could uh, get enough mandos so that you know, it was a safe course. This is actually an island green. You can't really tell, but there's OB all the way around this basket. The, the bushes in back are OB. Um, there's a drop zone about halfway down if you don't make it to the island. So these guys are all taking nice, soft putter shots. Nothing too adventurous, just trying to lay up for what should be an easy birdie. Round two, I think there were four birdies on the card. Just about everyone. There you go, Matty. Nice putt from Matt. Definitely a good bird. Let's see if these guys can clear up a star frame. Ooh, There's no two. No, no top You'll notice all these baskets are El Guapo baskets. They're the sponsoring company. They're a, a Washington disc golf uh, basket manufacturer. They've been putting in, putting in their baskets at courses all over the area. Loving the, the bright green. Wow! Five footer. Think about it, though. Five footer. Great star frame there. You can tell they're all really happy to get that one in the bag. Hole four, we've got a 280 foot par three. The mando to the left of this front tree creates a really tricky dog leg left. Cameron trying to go with the huge lefty Anheuser bomb. A lot of different lines on this hole. Some people are gonna try to snake the forehand roller around to the left. You can also just take a regular hyzer not going to get you far enough left to leave you with a birdie putt, but maybe a, maybe a chance to put one in from 50 or 60. Ooh, that's cutting a little early for Nick. Joey leaving it up a little high, gets a nice bounce off the tree. He's going to be in a good spot. This front nine is really technical. It's all trees, yeah. Yeah. a lot of tight shots. Then the back nine opens up with a lot of big, long bomber holes. But certainly on the front nine, pretty much every hole either has a Mando or some OB, um, Island Green, something to make you really think about your shot. It's fun because it leaves a lot of a lot of birdie bogey swings. Here's Matt putting in the par. Cameron will do this. Ooh, Cameron just misses. Thought he had that one in the bag. Joey taps out. I'm loving these two tone chain baskets. About half of them out here have that great almost watermelon look. So Cameron takes the bogey, everyone else cleans up the par. It'll put back Matt back in the lead by one stroke. Going into hole five. 291 foot par three. This is a dog leg left. And you, it's hard to see from here, but it's an OB creek down there with all those flags. It's about a five foot wide creek. Um, you, can, you can clear it, you can lay up short. Um, you just don't want to roll in there. Jump. Jump. Saw someone in the oh, second wow. round try to roll it through. Yes. Oh, we'll see another one. Can he get it through the creek? Oh, just oh. barely rolls back in. That's a really rough break. I wanted to see that work. 
Joey gets the one nice drive. He's going to have a nice birdie putt. And the lefty forehand, so we're rounding out just about every throwing style here. Three of these guys go over these holes, really eating people up this weekend. For such a small out of bounds obstacle, it just really likes to suck in those discs like a magnet. Almost cannon that par save. See if Joey can grab a couple strokes on the card. Ooh. He misses high. That was a, a good opportunity to make up a lot of ground here. Ooh, and he's giving up another. Just about everyone on the card's going to take that bogey. Robbie grabbing the only par. Good work. Hole six. This is a long par three, 356 feet. It's a double mando through the middle. Takes away kind of the big hyzer line. Makes for a really fun laser shot or a forehand roller if you're Matt. He's got one of the widest arrays of shots I've ever seen. Just about everything over the course of the round you'll see Joey going with the putter roller interesting choice but he's safe Ooh, Cameron missing the Mando making this hole a lot harder than it needs to be looks like he's gonna recover nicely though We'll have a chance to save his bogey. Come on, baby squirrel. Back in round two, Joey took a Damn, six on this Damn. hole. So there's a lot of trouble. You can see, you can go OB long, you can miss the Mando. There's a lot of trouble all over this course. Matt with another overhand, dropping it in. He wants that to slide in there. Yeah. Leaves him with a nice par putt. Nick gets the correction off the tree. That with a nice save there. Cameron and Joey both taking fives with the out of bounds, giving Matt a three stroke lead going into hole seven. This is a big dog leg right. You can see a lot of, you know, the course really forces you to be able to throw all directions. It's tucked way back there. Definitely a course where birdies are going to feel really good. I believe was a tomahawk. Nick with the huge sky forehand bomb. It's safe. <laughs> they like it. That's looking good from Joey. Let's see if he can cut back far enough to leave him with a putt. Back in round two, uh, Emilio managed to snake a, a backhand roller all the way to the pin, actually cleared the pin. You can see there's a mando tree there. Keeps people from being able to go straight at it. Nick with the that wild jump putt. I love his leg kick on that shot. Robbie with the floater. Just keeping it 
close. Do it. Do it. Get it. Oh. Run. Oh, yeah. a huge putt from Five. Matt, pushing his lead to four strokes. See that again on replay. Drop. Yeah, Matt. Cameron to match him, keep the pressure on. Just comes up short. Nick from the bushes. Oof. Harsh break. Spoke to the tournament director, Jesse Ingram, earlier. He said they're, they're hoping to make this course a permanent course. This is Sportsman State Park. Um, right now, Yakima only has one course, nine-holer. So this would be a, a huge upgrade for the, for the Yakima disc golf scene if they can get this course in the ground. Matt pushes his lead, actually, to five strokes. Hole eight. This is a long straight par three, second longest on the course at 450. I feel like these guys are probably excited just to see a wide open shot after all those mandos and out of bounds. Chance to see them really uncork one. Oh, Joey with the grip lock. Gets a good roll coming all the way back to the middle. Hopefully he'll get a par out of that. Nick with the, the huge hyzer bomb. That just about made it pin high. That was 450 feet all on the hyzer. Cameron with a little worm burner. Oh, jeez. Robbie just trying to sneak it up there. And that'll lay up, try to get his par. So let's see if Nick can steal one on the card. Ooh. Sweet birdie putt. Oh. Seems like Joey just can't catch a break this round. He's putting up good putts and they're just not staying in. Same for Cameron. Both of us, yeah. Yeah, we Cameron yeah, drops another stroke. Yeah, and he's going to put push Matt's lead out to six strokes. Oh. No nubs. <laughs> no nubs. No nubs required. Joey's got the, the awesome roller bag there. Robbie's catching up. He's only three strokes back of Matt at this point. Hole nine, 400 feet. OB long on the road. That's fine. Yeah, as long as you're not right on it. Definitely tempting to take a really big hyzer flip all the way up the right side, but Staring, staring out at that parking lot. I see some skips today. Definitely makes you a little nervous. Yeah, we'll be on the road. I want to see someone go for Come it on. here. There you go. That's got to be mine. Let's go. Nick with the huge bomb. <laughs> Skip back in. Ooh, oh, almost so it, hits the camera. No, I, I saw it hit the con. Just OB. Out. It slid all the way straight. Sounded like it just couldn't get up on an edge. There you go. Come back. Joey with a long flex, flex Ooh, line. Hey. He's gonna have to deal with that wooden box out there. Cameron cuts it a little too far inside. He's gonna have to deal with the bushes there on the left. Oh, Matt with the creative skip shot. Doesn't look like it worked out though. Backhand, that's perfect. Joey coming up a little short on that. Robbie with an excellent upshot. 
far. Beautiful lake in the background. It's a really lovely park. You're out to the edge. Oh, man. Joey's looks like he's getting frustrated with those putts. And you can see the wind is picking up here too. On the back Woo! nine, out in the open, this wind is going to get really nasty and make it a real challenge okay. for these guys coming down the stretch. So that'll do it for the front nine here. Come back for part two of the final round. We've got Matt with a one stroke lead now after that double bogey over Robbie. Cameron's a few strokes back of that. Nick one stroke back of Cameron. And Joey's at seven over. Oh, come on. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Skip in. Skip in. Skip in. Oh, oh. oh. Bush is behind it.